These days, we use words like machine learning and artificial intelligence as synonyms of cutting-edge technology. At the heart of this revolution, there are computer algorithms that interpret massive datasets. Applications like AI doctors are just proofs of concept of this new way of automating repetitive tasks. Given this accelerated development, we may be tempted to borrow such techniques to speed up traditionally slow scientific discoveries. However, the science problems offer unique challenges of very limited data sets and the need to understand underlying physical mechanisms. Because of these specialized needs, we have to contemplate the nature of ML revolution in sciences that is beginning to be known as scientific machine learning. In this perspective, we explore these questions in the context of the electrochemical sciences. Essentially, the development of an electrochemical system, be it a battery, fuel cell, or electrolytic reactor, relies on answering four fundamental why questions, out of which the two questions dealing with the smaller length and time scales relate to the electrochemical sciences themselves. These describe how atoms and molecules come together to ascribe properties to materials and interfaces, and how multiple materials arrange differently and work in tandem to proffer observable responses. The design of porous electrodes using given electrode and electrolyte materials is a representative electrochemical science to which machine learning can contribute. Instead of a purely database connection from materials to electrode performance, the challenge for scientific machine learning is to be able to capture the mesoscopic effects that limit the predictability of the porous electro response. Herein, appropriate machine learning can connect the electron manufacturing step to the resultant mesostructure, automate analysis and reconstruction from X-ray images, or describe the electrochemical response in terms of mesostructural properties. Once we connect these dots, we can accurately prescribe how to prepare electrodes for a target application. Another area where scientific machine learning can have a major impact is in the design of molecules and materials for electrochemical energy applications. Now, if had abundant compute, one could calculate all of the structural variations and then uh, use that to identify the materials that would give us the properties that we want. In general, this is intra intractable and, and sort of the challenge of inverse design of materials is to try and build a mapping from the structure all the way to the material property. Here, there are some clever ideas around encoding the invariances associated with the system that then, if you exploit those symmetries, that allows you to make predictions on material properties that are much more robust and, and much more extrapolative uh, in regimes that it hasn't seen. The field of molecular machine learning, uh, especially leveraging these kinds of architectures that utilize the principles of scientific machine learning uh, is opening up new possibilities in terms of simulating large structures that are well beyond what is possible today. The field of machine learning potentials uh, is going to revolutionize the scale, both in terms of time and in terms of length of simulations that will allow us to design molecules and materials to unprecedented detail. In applying machine learning to the electrochemical sciences, we neither have sufficient data nor are accurate enough physics independently. If applied individually, both physics-based and data-driven modeling lose their usefulness for predicting electrochemical response across scales. Instead, revolutionary scientific machine learning applications will judiciously combine our knowledge of physics with abundant data. Here, physics translates to mechanistic information, i.e. causation, while data substitutes unknown or expensive physics with correlations. We are excited to see what breakthroughs scientific machine learning brings to electrochemical sciences.